Hey everybody, what's going on? Beck here from BeckSadek.com. <clears throat> so I did a video earlier on this topic and it keeps getting erased. So I'm back and I'm gonna do it again. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to talk about this with all of you guys because I think that this is the number one mistake that direct sellers and network marketers are doing on social media today. Um, in the past, the biggest objection that you probably heard when you approached people about starting a business with you was, is this a pyramid scheme, right? That used to be the biggest objection out there. Um, it has changed, and I'm gonna tell you why it's changed. It's changed because everybody has a friend and everybody knows somebody who does direct sales, right? Um, it's, it's not like a big faux pas anymore. It's not something that people are avoiding. Um, it's something that people are definitely, um, it, they're more used to it. So people aren't now thinking you're involved in some scam, but what they are thinking is, I don't wanna be one of those people who annoys people on social media. Um, that is the number one objection that people come up against today. So it's up to you and all of us, right, to separate ourselves from the pack of people that are straight up spamming on social media. Um, so let me tell you the number one thing that I see people doing that needs to change. So if you are a member of any groups, right, people are members of different types of groups on Facebook. If you live in an area, you might be a member of that, you know, that neighborhood group on Facebook. Um, if you're a mom, you might be a member of different moms groups and things like that. Um, I know that I'm a member of the moms group in my, my personal area and I'm the member of um, other groups in my area of things that I am interested in. Um, and oftentimes what you'll see is people will post in these groups and they'll be asking for recommendations, right? Um, and nine times out of 10, what you're seeing right now is if somebody posts a recommendation, you're gonna see like four, five, six people that are involved in a direct selling or a network marketing company comment below with a solution for them that has to do with their direct sales network marketing company and they're gonna post their link for somebody to buy. So an example of this might be, um, you know, I'm suffering from headaches and I've tried everything and I don't know what to do. Does anybody have any solutions, right? And then you're gonna see like five different people from different direct sales companies posting a link to a product that they have that they, that they know works for headaches um, and letting people know that they can go there to buy. Now, people are getting really annoyed at this. Um, and the most importantly though, it's not working. Okay, it's not working 99% of the time. And that's because there is no genuine relationship happening. Um, and we have to remember that even though we're building our businesses more and more online um, these days, there still needs to be that relationship and that connection that's happening between people or else people are gonna just look at you as a salesperson or a spammer. Um, and that is the last thing you wanna be. So I was just talking to somebody earlier today um, and we were talking about how um, she noticed that a friend of theirs posted in a group asking for advice on something and four or five people from different companies commented saying they could help them with a link to their product. And she was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be the sixth person who comments below with a link to my product. Um, instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to this person in a private message and I'm going to ask them more questions about what it is that's going on with them and what kind of solutions that they're looking for. So rather than just trying to sell, right, you want to get on there and you want to start building relationships with people and building a rapport with people so that people trust you. Um, I guarantee you that if that woman buys from anybody, it's going to be from my friend because she reached out to build a relationship and to find out more. She's not gonna click on any of those links and buy somebody else's product because it does in fact seem genuine. And here's the deal is that I know that you're being genuine when you're posting your links to things. You genuinely wanna help people, right? Um, I know that, but the problem is, is that it doesn't come across that way and it's literally becoming an epidemic in our industry. Um, and we all lose credibility when we do that. So stop posting links to your products in comments under people's posts asking for recommendations and advice, stop doing it. Start private messaging people and asking them more information and seeing if you actually have a solution that can help them. Um, better yet, get active in those groups when somebody's not looking for a solution. Get active um, building friendships and relationships so that when you do comment and say you have a solution or when you do private message somebody and say you have a solution, 
it looks like it's coming from a genuine place versus a place of, hey, I have no idea who you are, but I'm just trying to sell you stuff, right? Um, so that's what the advice that I have for you guys today is. And I believe that if this is a shift that we can make as direct sellers and network marketers, it's gonna become less of an objection for people, right? Because the objection that I hear all the time now is I don't wanna be one of those people who spams and sells things in Facebook groups. And the reality is, and this is not mom bashing, because I'm a mom, I got two kids, um, and I'm in all those mom groups, but it's becoming an epidemic in mom's groups. And a lot of moms are saying, yeah, I'd love to make some extra money while I'm home, or I'd love to get out of my full-time job, um, but I'm just not gonna be one of those people that I see on Facebook spamming everybody. Um, so we've gotta do better, right? We've gotta do a better job of building relationships and connecting with people versus just trying to sell to them. All right, guys, so hopefully this video actually sticks and doesn't get erased. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.